Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. Uh, this time around, I'm going to be doing a review for the Transporter Refueled. I believe this is the fourth film in the Transporter series. So yeah, and it stars Ed, Ed Skrine, Ray Stevenson, Alon Chabanal, Gabriella Wright, Tatiana Pajkovic, um, and yeah, Yuri Kol... Shit. Yuri Kolo Kalvinak, Len Kudrowski. Okay, where the fuck did they find these people? Um, yeah, okay, well, why is half this cast Russian? Um, and R Radivaj Bukvik. Yeah, I can't pronounce half these names. Fuck it. Um, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual. For those of you that actually watched this movie and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out in the come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up. So for those who have yet to actually watch the movie haven't already, uh, please don't comment down below or be messaging me then I'll give you a fair warning as usual, I did. So this is kind of a reboot, sequel type of situation because the previous films starred Jason Statham and this one stars Ed Skr Skrin, Sk Skrine, whatever. And basically in this movie you have, and basically you have this transporter guy, uh, Frank Martin, and basically, uh, he he's contacted by these uh, by these women, um, by these women to do a job basically to help them rob a bank of sorts, um, and these women basically blackmail him to do other jobs um, for them by kidnapping his uh, by kidnapping um, Frank Martin's father in the film, and. Yeah, basically they kidnapped the father. So now Frank Martin has to continue doing these jobs, um, robbing these other rich, um, <laughs> rich Russian assholes, basically because they are assholes. And yeah, and just throughout the film, he has to do jobs, bank robber. Eventually, his dad is freed, but he still wants to help out because he fell in love with one of the women, and he has to be on time. And yeah, it's not a really, for, it's not a really. Plot-wise and story-wise, it's not really good. Um, come to think of it, it's not really that good plot-wise and story-wise. However, I actually had fun with it. Now, I haven't seen reviews for this movie. Um, I've I've read reviews and whatever, and they say it's pretty, it's mixed to negative for the most part. But I haven't seen people actually review this movie, which is kind of weird, I guess, in a sense. But whatever. Now, as I just, as I just said, the plot it's weak. It's stupid. Um, it makes no sense, um, uh, but I think the, how do I, how do I put this? It's the type of film that it is forgettable, it's gonna be really forgettable, uh, however, when you're watching it and when you're actually looking at it in the moment, you're gonna have fun with it, okay? But after you watch it, you're gonna forget what it's about, you know, stuff like that, you're gonna forget details, and yeah, so... It's that type of film. It's more like one of those rainy day films where you just pop it in, have fun with it, but you're never going to watch Your Odds are you're probably never going to watch it again or remember it again or anything after that. So, yeah, the acting. Okay, so the, the, the first few films, though, like the fir previous three films, they star Jason Statham. This one stars Ed Skrine, and he doesn't have the same charm as Jason Statham. Um, he, he has his own charm, but it's not the type that we expect, I guess, what which we're used from used to from the series, um, because he's not Jason Statham. He's not as badass. He's not as witty, um, and yeah. So yeah, Ray Stevenson he does a pretty good job in the role. So yeah, I mean overall it's a pretty well, it's well acted, um, and for the most part decently written. It's just really the plot that makes no sense and it's just kind of clunky. And, yeah, I mean, the action, it's actually pretty good, and that's what I say. Um, while you're watching, it's going to be fun, and it's one of those films that you could you just watch in a moment to have fun and shut your brain off. But it's a really forgettable film, and to a certain to a certain degree, it is predictable. So, yeah, I mean, that's really the best way I could explain it. And the reason I do say it's pretty forgettable is because I watched it yesterday, and I'm already forgetting stuff about it. So, 
yeah, I mean, I remember having fun with it, but it's really forgettable in my opinion. So, yeah, I, I barely like I I remember the basic plot and whatever. Um, but and I remember what I liked, but yeah, it's forgettable. It's whatever. It's forgettable. It's stupid and forgettable. You know, it's fun for the moment, but you're gonna forget about it afterwards. So yeah, that's basically it for now. On a scale of one to ten, will be the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'll give it a five out of ten. Um, yeah, it's a five out of ten. So yeah, mixed. So yeah, five out of ten is what I'd give this film. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen it? And if not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the videos on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.